What's going on YouTube? This is the Dusty Pipe Smoker coming at you again. Today, I'm going to be smoking from my Savinelli. This is a fantastic pipe. I've had it for a few years now. Absolutely, absolutely love it. This uh, partial bend, that's my favorite style right there. So check this out. It's got a square bowl. Which is really cool, like so. I don't know if you can kind of make that out like so. Let me show you here. Let's see here. What we got. What's that? For any of you who might be interested, this is a Linnea. Kind of looked that up and uh, I think it said that it was uh, made by people who are almost to the anniversary making stage perhaps. Anyway, this is a fantastic pipe. I've had it for a few years and I absolutely love it. And today I'm going to be smoking everyone's favorite, Stonehaven, which is one of my favorites too by far. Uh, I'll try to give a description of what it tastes like to me, but as all of you know, tobaccos taste different to, uh, to other people. So to me, I'm going to tell you what I think it tastes like. And my palate's not that good. I, I was a cigarette smoker for many, many years. So mm, what I say may not be what it actually tastes like, but I'm going to give it a shot. And I've smoked it quite a few times now, and I, I really love it. It's smooth smoke. Uh, I've been kind of kind of uh, grinding it out pretty pretty fine lately. So this has a little bit bigger flakes this time that I didn't... Uh, that I didn't rub out too bad. Maybe it'll smoke better. It, it already smokes good, but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot here. See how it goes. So here we go. Yeah. Sliders going out. Alright, well, we'll see what happens here. That's a little better. Just got this little bit of a breeze blowing through here. Being on the third floor, it kind of whips through this little hole here and makes it a pain in the ass to light my pipes sometimes. Well, the initial flavor when you light up Stonehaven is uh, kind of fruity. It's got, uh, I don't know, kind of a berry flavor, I'd say maybe kind of plum, almost like a wine pretty distinct and the smell Stonehaven smell is very potent yet again it almost smells like a wine but once you really get it going that's when you really get the flavor which I swear that I tasted a little bit of vanilla in it almost the other day Like I said, my tastes may be a little bit skewed because I smoked cigarettes for so long. But, whatever it tastes like, it's very appealing and very good. And I can understand what everyone has been talking about. So... I'm going to continue to smoke this probably for a good long while. I did get the 8 ounce bag, so that will probably last me a long time. I usually only smoke at the most two bowls a day, and that's at the most. Sometimes it's only, most of the time it's really only one.
I don't know, maybe in the summertime when it warms up here, I'll smoke on uh, my lunch breaks, but right now I don't, just because I don't, I don't like being out in the cold too much. It's one thing to sit at home and, like, do a YouTube video, or even just sit here and watch other people's videos, or read a book or whatever, but at work, no thanks. Ah, uh, there's that mellow sweetness. Like I said, I don't really know how to describe it other than it seems to have a little bit of a vanilla quality to it. There's also still that fruitiness also that uh, is very pleasing. One of the t tobacco that I've mentioned a couple of times, Black Watch, it kind of has it has a lot more fruity flavor than this, uh, like kind of. I think there's a little more orange to that one, citrusy, but uh, this one, it's very pleasing and it's smooth, smooth, smooth. I like to draw pretty hard, so I can get tongue bite if I'm not careful quite a bit. And uh, I did get a case of tongue bite a few days ago really badly. It was it was uh, it was with uh, Black Watch, I think, and I just smoked it too hard because I'd been at work. Stressful day. Come home, want to smoke a pipe, get it going, puff, 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 trying to de-stress, and uh, yeah, it burnt the crap out of my tongue. But, oh well. I'm over it now. <laughs> so, I also, in this video, would like to give a shout out to Birdman5691. Man, I love your videos, my brother. It's just always, you're always so full of information. And, uh, Reaching out to me, I, I really appreciate it, and telling me what your thoughts were on that uh, Virginia Flake that I've been having problems with, uh, being as I'm still very new to the Virginia-style tobacco. And your suggestion worked like a charm, man, just letting it sit there for a lot longer than I had. I think I let it sit out for about five hours yesterday, and then smoked a bowl of it last night, and it smoked just great all the way through. The end, I got a little. It, it got a little tough because I packed it too tight at the bottom. But otherwise, it was fantastic. So th thank you very much, Alex, for the advice on the Virginia Flake. Uh, continue making your video videos, man, because I love watching them. So anyway, there's that. So I'm not going to hold you guys for much longer. So I'll just say thanks a lot for all of you who have given me subscriptions in the last week or so. And thanks for watching my videos. Leave any comments that you want on any of my videos. Hopefully I'll be checking them. Uh, <laughs> uh, still a techno idiot, so I, <laughs> it might take me some time to respond to you if, I, if you do leave me a comment. But feel free to say whatever you want. I appreciate any uh, encouragement, any advice, any anybody that wants to watch, anybody wants to tell me what you're thinking, what your favorite tobaccos are, what your favorite pipes are. Just let me know. So this is the Dusty Pipe Smoker once again coming at you. And have a pleasant day. And God bless.